y'all we're back we're back we're back and we're about to finish it off um we're not talking about quad in this video um i'm gonna do married to medicine for you guys tomorrow and we could talk about it then um i see i've always ran um from any dude with any glimpse of controlling nature a dude got mad i didn't answer my phone while busy at work and called him when i was free blocked him on everything <laughs> girl listen I ain't even gonna get into it, but yeah, nah, I'm the same way. Any sign of controlling shit, yeah, I'm I'm out of there because I don't I don't have time for abuse, girl. Live through it, done it, <laughs> been there, done it. I've had enough. Okay, so Christian Keys, y'all. I'm gonna just be like, I'm gonna just tell y'all, I like Christian Keys, and y'all know Bondi always feels like light skinned men have a tendency, you know, especially pretty light-skinned men. Oh, girl, they are the fucking worst. Um, they think they're God's gift, and they can be extremely difficult to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can just be super-duper asshole -ish. But I really like Christian Keys. I just do. Right? And Christian Keys came out this weekend and did a 60, or oh, I'm sorry, 80-some-odd-minute video talking about somebody, a billionaire, in the entertainment industry that has sexually harassed him for over a decade. So let's go ahead and listen and uh, I'll give my commentary. Hold up. Son is mad. The TV doc. Damn, need to be this loud. What's going on, y'all? I want to talk to you about some stuff, and, and it's been on my heart, so I want to speak on it. <clears throat> speak on it. All right. Um, good evening. Hope everybody's doing amazing. Um, I am. I've been speaking to my brother about making a declaration of my experience. Um, what I experienced with certain powers that be wait do I have to go to the next one already really like it's in my bone marrow to discuss that because Thankfully, God built me the way that he built me, but I, I'm i not sure, you know, based on this person's claims and, and brags um, that he's literally got. At the same time this person was sexually, sexually harassing me for years. Um, he was claiming, you know, that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was, when he requested them to be there. And inappropriately. And I really, like it's in my bone marrow to 
discuss that because thankfully God built me the way that he built me. Clearly, that's why it was, it felt to him that it was okay to say these things. And I, I really, I want to have these discussions. I want to be transparent with y'all about that. I've done my best to forgive this person, but it happens. It happens. Um, it's not just women that have to deal with it, but it's also men sometimes. And it'll be men tempting men. And that's why a lot of my posts over the last few years have been about not being gay, taking the scenic route, you know, taking the long way around because if that means that you can, oh no, I know carry you your integrity with you. I I understand this, and this is the way I move. As y'all have seen, you know, if y'all paid attention to the way I move, I, I don't do mess, I don't do bullshit. It has taken me longer. It is taking me longer, um, and sometimes it makes me feel like I want to give up. But essentially, I would much rather get there going the scenic route than to get there fast without my peace intact. Then, and it's 11-11. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for another opportunity to connect with you. Y'all, it's not Diddy. Um, <laughs> it's not Diddy, y'all. My shortcomings, my bad decisions, and my mistakes. Um, please continue to guide and protect us as only you can. Everybody that's watching. Um, it's not a presentation. If I see 1111, I try to have another conversation with God. So thank you, Heavenly Father. I appreciate you. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Um, that's interesting. But there are, there are um, people that will. Yes, I know it's multiple people. Um, he said a woman as well. We know that he wasn't just talking about one person, but I think he is very much speaking mainly on one person because he's talking about an interaction where he recorded this person propositioning him. He also talked about a woman grabbing his junk and telling him how girthy it was. We know it's more than one person, y'all. And have, and will continue to, unfortunately. Offer these things. And some of them are your heroes. Some of them are. Oh, yeah, such and such is amazing. And he does this and he does that. Yeah, but he also does this and that. I. Um, at some point soon, it's gonna have to come out. <clears throat> I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um, whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because most predators would check your phone. And once the sexual harassment started, I was like, well, I need to, I, I got to protect me because I'm saying no. And I don't want this person as powerful as they are to try to get in the way of my work. Mm -hmm. So, I, oh yeah. I have them offering me money to take my clothes off. I have recordings when I wasn't working with them or for them. Um, I have recordings of them confessing that, you know, the other guys that they have on the payroll, all of the above. Um, and the difference is the wonderful thing about confidentiality agreements and non-disclosure agreements is that they can't prevent you from turning all of those things over to the police because sexual harassment is a crime attempted sexual assault is a felony. Mm -hmm. And NDAs don't protect crimes. And 
Tams, you literally just asked, why do we as black people have to deal with that? But sometimes it's our own. It's not just black people. People, period, have to deal with that. We live in a predatory environment. People, period. White people have to deal with this too, y'all. I don't know why everybody acts like this is just black people. People. Sometimes it's our own heroes. Have them offering. And when he keeps saying heroes, I would like to know who else, who else y'all think he's talking about if he's not talking about TP. It's the, sometimes it's the very people we deify. And, and y'all have deified Maxine's so baby. They're doing so much no. They're also doing this. And my only reservation about naming the people. You know, there was directors along the way, like, hey, you know, you read for this, that, and the other. Do you want to come back up to the apartment? I'm like, nah, I'm good. You got my headshot, my resume, and I'm good. Mm. You know if I can handle that or not. You know I can kill that, but I'm not, I don't need to come up to your apartment. We already had the audition. There's other people that... I want to say everything. And my brother was like, nah, mm -hmm. not yet. I tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. I want to speak on it. And the good news is that they don't even have to believe me. Hopefully they would, but even if they don't, they can hear this person. Since this part. sexual harassment started, I've carried many recorder devices on me, keychains, pens, um, thumb drives with a, a charge battery that get six, seven, eight hours, all the above. So I have the conversations. I really want to air that that shit out because it bothers me when I'm alone at night like man that the world is celebrating this person and they don't even know the shady and predatory way to tell it on the mountain in which this person moves and the way that you know predators resent the prey that gets away so mm -hmm. when you don't say yes when you don't say, okay, I'll acquiesce and, you know, sign up and literally and figuratively play ball. Because we're not doing that. They resent you. In which this person moves. And the way that, you know, predators resent the prey that gets away. So when you don't say yes, when you don't say, okay, I'll act be. This is a conversation we're going to have and we're going to have some because it, it bothers me in my spirit that you can, I can forgive people. That's one thing, but yeah, see, we don't play ball. That's my brother in there. Um, and he knows the real deal. He knows the who. Um, I'm good. Somebody said, you don't look okay. I'm okay. I'm, I, I have, I have peace. I'm literally strategically planning my next eight moves. I'm good. God got me because he was watching when I was offered these opportunities and I didn't say yes. I didn't sell my soul or my ass. Excuse my French y'all. I know some of y'all, hopefully y'all have no kids around, but I didn't sell nothing for success. Like, nah, that's not what I want. You know, I, I ain't into that. I ain't into dudes. It's, it's, I'm the, I got the only beard in the bed policy. Mine is the only beard in the bed. Yeah, we're not. We ain't doing nothing now. I don't get out like that. And these people kept on for years. Sexual harassment is a crime. Attempted sexual assault is a felony. And where I'm at now is that in the middle of the night, I think about if I'm brave enough to name a person, I'll take a polygraph live. I'll take five polygraphs live. And I'll pass all of them because it's the truth. This person is a predator and he's one of several. Um, and it's a shame, man, but it's, I think it's time. It, it's, I want to, and I know, P, I know you're on here. I want to say everything now. 
and I have proof. It's not like I'm just making false accusations. I intentionally let the statute of limitations expire. It's not about money, but hmm. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna have to take the receipts, the recordings down to the police department and we gonna see. Let them hear this individual. I wasn't working for him in <clears throat> the month and the year that he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I declined. Because again, scenic group, I got my integrity with me. I'll, I'll take the long way around. But being that I wasn't working with him and we were in my apartment, he had visited my apartment to offer me a job of this fall because the lead of this particular project was going to do something else. So he needed another lead. I recorded it because I didn't trust him. And I told him over and over. And he still always tried shit. Just tried shit. So if people don't believe me, they can hear him in his voice. I have always kept something on me. Always. Even if my phone is off. Something else is, if I'm around some. When he keeps saying the voice and the voice being very distinct, that is another thing that made me think about TP. I see y'all saying TD Jakes. And that's a possibility. I'm not, I don't know for sure anything, y'all. I'm just telling y'all what it sound like to me. Somebody that has tried to sexually harass me, pressure me, intimidate me into some nonsense. I've always kept something on me. So I can protect myself because if they're that powerful and they feel that entitled, then they can, they can also try to get in the way of your work. Mm. Um, I want to speak on it. I also want to keep making great things and, and creating jobs and opportunities. But, oh no, I got backups for the backups for the backups for the backups. Like Roy Reed out this Jason bitch. Movies, not to have 15 backups. I can press play and you can hear the person and you'll know immediately who the person is that's offering me a hundred grand a strip. You'll know right away and it'll break your heart. I won't have to say the person's name, but I can and I will. I don't mind doing a polygraph or three or five on live TV and I'll pass all of them because it's the truth. This industry is something else. It's wonderful and we get to chase our dreams and we get to live other lives. I get to be a judge or an FBI agent. I get to be a, a girl dad. And some of the people that you think are your mentors are literally and figuratively just trying to fuck you. I have documentation from the dealership for the car that they tried to buy as an apology for offering me a hundred grand a strip. It's, it's time. I really, I really want to just clear the air because I'm, I'm tired. And then where I'm at now, it's, if it still feels like that person is fucking with you, just to fuck with you, just to mess with you. The industry can be wonderful. I'm grateful. Be clear that this person showed me how not to be. When I'm a boss, people get dabs in church hubs. The attractive women that work on, on even even on my shows, my my productions, they get dabs and church hooks. That's it. Because this person showed me how not to be when I'm in charge and when I built something and when I created something. I hear you, Burnell. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to dial it back. You get on my nerves because I know you're right, but I'm, it, it's in my fucking bone marrow and I'm tired of this person gallivanting around doing these PR stunts. Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that. Well, then speak on. If you want to have... We're going to have a conversation, y'all, really soon. Really, really soon. Really soon. And I'm, I'm, I thank God that he made me the way that I am. Because I know he sat back and watched. Like, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to acquiesce and take this movie that's going to make 60, 70, 80 million dollars? Are you going to take this, this picture? Are you going to go to that late night audition, that late night table read? No. You ain't built me like that. I'm a beat. Shout out. Stomped out more than most of the people that are here on this live put together. P, I'm going to call you in a minute. I I'm do wonder gonna, if he's going to go to the police. I'm so fucking close because I'm tired. I'm tired. But I believe him. And it needs to be told. And the bad part is I'm going to be I'm going to be painted as the villain when 
I was the one that was sexually harassed for years, years, bullied, intimidated, and sexually harassed for years. And I'm going to be painted as the villain because y'all have deified this person. And then if a person tells you over and over, first of all, in general, you have no right to touch anybody. None. None. Now, that's why I'm careful. Like when I do my shows and everything, you know, it says church hugs. I put the veils on and I kiss people on the hair up here. Nothing sexual, nothing weird, nothing crazy. And, and I'm trusting that, you know, the fans will receive that out of a place of love and connection. But you are not allowed to touch somebody without their permission. Not allowed to try to touch them in a sexual or private place without their permission. And if they've already declared like, hey, bro, I get that that's your thing, but I like black women in Hennessy. And so miss me with the bullshit because I'm never going to be open to that. I'm never going to swing at that pitch. Like I, I'm batting for this team over here. God made ovaries and fallopian tubes and vagina, labia majora, labia minora, uterus. This is wonderful over here. So I'm going to stay over here like chill. This nigga named the parts of the vagina. He you wants y'all to know. You. I'm in it. It is me. I am in Cassie speaking out has given me, has reminded me about, not, not just me, because it was brutal going through because it lasted for years, but her speaking out, people need to know. And the funny thing is predators like that, they resent the prey that got away. They resent the prey that got away. The prey that didn't fall, the prey that didn't, acquiesce and, and say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take this L and sacrifice my morals for this opportunity. Nah, that was a lot of time that I was considering going back to Michigan, 08, 09, because work was slow and the work that was coming was, was offered with the side of penis. And yeah, they don't do nothing for me. I'm back for y'all team. So um, yeah, I, at some point soon, I've spoken with my attorney trying to figure out how to deal with it. It's never been about money. I, I literally intentionally let the statute of limitations pass. It's not about money or being ever sued. But at some point, really soon, the police report is going to be filed and I'll turn over the recordings of the inappropriate behaviors and the inappropriate offers. And I'll turn over the paperwork for the car that was bought as an apology for offering me $100,000 to take my clothes off. And y'all can hear him. His voice is... Very distinctive. And I want to, I want to empty. I'm tired of killing this shit. His voice is very distinctive. He's a billionaire. What, what billionaires with distinctive voices do you know? There's a reason now why I fight more than ever when somebody wrongs me and why I. T.D. Jakes is not a billionaire. It's because I wasn't brave enough to. And, uh, He's rich. I regret not being able to be strong enough. And I resent that part of me that wasn't strong enough to speak up about it. It's taking everything in me not to air out everything and put all the recordings online, put all the paperwork and the PDFs online. Uh, there's no reason that this person's company would be on the bill of sale for a vehicle unless it's right after the timestamp recording of him offering me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't have to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I'm like, the fuck? What? Like you know, I'm not into that. I don't. I don't fuck around like that. I don't do that. What the fuck? What? It's power. Leave. to Get make you do it, Get even the though they know out. you don't want to. They've yeah, all been I doing it to each my other. My brother and my friend. And this definitely has nothing to do with my brother who's in here. Be clear. I thought this person was a brother type figure, a mentor, mentor type figure. But for you to continuously throw these opportunities, you know good and damn well, all it ever was was you pretend to be a mentor. Trying to get some ass. That'll never happen. I'm not bad for that team. Yeah, but I gotta get off of here and talk to my brother because I'm I'm so fucking close to just airing everything out. I'm just dumping everything online in the morning. I'm tired, man. I'm not forgiving myself. I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't brave enough back then because somebody said forgive yourself. KG, it's it's heavy on my heart, man, and I'm tired. And we around here deifying people that go out and do this and I'm going I'm to do this and I'm going to pay off this and I'm going to pay off that and I'm going to pay off that. But at the same time, these same people are predators. I'm not blaming myself for saying no. I'm not blaming myself for almost quitting acting. 
I'm just mad at me for not being brave enough to say something sooner. That's the only thing that I regret. I wish I'd have been brave enough. I'm him now. I'm, I, I know who I am. I know who God built me to be. And I'm not afraid of those consequences. My concern is that a lot of y'all are going to be like, man. And your immediate reaction is going to be like, oh, well, we got to protect our deity. We got to protect. It, it's going to have to happen. I'm interested to see which peers are mad at me because it may interfere with their work. But yeah, you get a grown ass man that knows that you're heterosexual and you're sleeping off Hennessy in his guest room. Cause he says it's safe. Cause you know, I know I'm bad. So I'm after a big party. Won't say what type, won't say where. I'm asleep, I'm, I'm gone. Cause I'm four five Hennessy's deep and not short Hennessy's either. And this dude tries to climb into bed with you. So you spaz out, push him out. Like what the fuck? Get ready to leave. He apologizes, blame it on the alcohol. Y'all, that is a, like a, 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 a thing on the list, a check on the list. Diddy did the same thing. You have to see how far you can push the person and catching them off guard is a way to see how they will respond under pressure. It is intentional. It's not a mistake. It's not the alcohol. It is intended to see if you will break under circumstances. And you try to forgive him. So you're like, all right, man. All right, I'm gone. You shake his hand on the way out and he tries to grab your penis. He tries to shake and grab your equipment. A temperature check. Right, Crystal. And you spaz even more. Like, what the fuck you doing, man? What the fuck you? What the fuck? Oh, my bad, my bad. So you go to leave. He tries to do it again. Now, at that point, my only regret is not breaking Every bone in the multiple bones in this person's face. But you got to be think. the dog shit out of this person, right? Because that's available to me at all times. That inner grizzly bear is always available. But in the moment, I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And we're but see all of that i can guys, feel all of that like the revulsion like i can I feel it three grand in my bank account who are you gonna believe right i got that three grand that's my son's mom's rent for next month you know gotta make sure little man is taken care of that's my rent and that's a little bit for the gas tank and the rest of it i can go to the dollar store and get some bread and bologna and hot dogs and mustard and, and you know i can get by work was slow and a lot of the work that was coming was tied to it had penis attached to it I'm like fuck that man. I'm not that's not what I want, that's not what I'm about to do. I regret not speaking up then, not being brave enough to, and I regret not hurting this person. Because I'm a I'm a very big heart. Mother had a big heart. Mother's heart was just big as flame issue. She was like a little, little, little yellow boy, you're gonna come and you're gonna be a part of my family. There and aren't that many black billionaires, things, you know, and not lash out, even though I wanted to, even though I want to. I'm mad at me for not hitting him. I'm mad at me for not speaking up and saying something. Because between that year and now, how many young black actors have went through that? Have fell for that. Mm -hmm. How many of them? And you can hear him say it on, on. You can hear him on the on the conversations. You can hear him on the conversations. You can hear him say that he has several guys, multiple guys on payroll, six figures a year, that pop up and they. Do whatever he wants and they go back home so they pop in they grab their ankles they do whatever he wants and i'm like i'm not gonna fucking do it i'm not doing that i don't want to make it that bad i want to be able to shave in the fucking morning without any grief or any regret or any shame waiting for me in the mirror i understand there's a trauma that comes with being bullied and intimidated and sexually harassed like that mm -hmm. having to eat that shit is, when the truth comes out a lot of y'all in here are gonna be like man I don't believe it. And you can watch me on whatever news station. I'll take polygraphs live on TV. You can hear the recordings yourself. The person has a very distinctive voice when they offer me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. Again the with a distinctive, a distinctive voice. voice. Distinctive voice when they literally sexually assault me and try to grab my private parts and I'm blocking their hand like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, oh, my bad, my bad. And tries to do it again. Some of these people are y'all heroes. Some of these people y'all have deified and set up on a stool, on a stool. It's taking everything in me not to say. But I promise you this, 
I, I will promise you this as an executive on the show, I'm grateful for this person for showing me how not to be. As an executive on the show, I am grateful for this person showing me what kind of boss not to be. Y'all. When you're the boss, how not to be. You don't sexually harass your employees. You don't pressure them, bully them, try to intimidate them into what you want. I'm, I'm grateful for that lesson. I'm glad that God sat back because not only was he watching to see if I was the person that he thought he had made, but he was letting me see who I am. And I'm grateful for it because it let me know. And that, and that gave me a lot of my bravery. I'm, I thank God that he just sat back and watched. It's going to be a conversation really soon. And it won't be a conversation or accusations. Again, I literally, I let the statute of limitations run out. Never been about money. My concern is that this person is still doing it, um, still a predator, and it's not okay. And I wish I was brave enough to speak up back then. I was worried that he would get in the way and, and try to interfere with my work and, and try to blackball me because he couldn't ball me. Pun intended. It's going to be a conversation had real soon. The beauty of non-disclosure agreements is that <clears throat> even if you do sign them, you can't speak about certain things, but Confidentiality agreements don't have to speak with several attorneys. They do not prohibit you. They can't prevent you from going to police departments and reporting sexual harassment and giving them your receipts, giving them your recordings, giving them your PDFs. And they don't prevent you from reporting felonies, sexual harassment as a felony. If you tell a person, if you tell a whole grown man, like, hey, I ain't the dudes, yeah, y'all shut the fuck up. You tell a grown man, I'm not in the guys, and he, he tries to grab your private parts, not once but twice, after trying to climb that very chair. That is the legal definition of sexual assault. So, yeah. And no, I didn't see that documentary. That part right there? No, I didn't see that documentary. What documentary do you think we talking about? Because I think we talking about Maxine's baby documentary. I have not seen it either. Yeah, NDA and, and confidentiality agreements do not cover crime. They don't prevent you from taking all your evidence to the police and members of public record. So at some point really soon, this is going to have to happen. This is a conversation that's going to have to happen because it's fucking with me. It's bothering me. And it, it needs to happen. Y'all going to be disappointed in who it is because y'all been fooled for years. But it's going to have to happen. So, yeah, exactly. You said it. No means no. If I got multiple friends in the industry that are LGBTQ+. I've had drinks with a castmate and his boyfriend. I don't give a fuck who they sleeping with. I don't give a flying fuck at a rolling donut who these people are sleeping with. How do you treat me as a human being? That's what matters to me. That'll, that'll be the only thing that affects how I treat you. If you're, if you're respectful of my boundaries, then I can have a drink with you and your girlfriend or you and your boyfriend. I don't care. I don't have heaven to send you to when you leave here. That's God's job to judge you. But what we're not going to do? Yeah, we're not going to try to force. Nah, man. It's taking, it's taking everything in me not to air that out i can tell everything i've been carrying this with me for I like a day and a half more more i'm gonna I'm get off of that subject it's, it's going to be addressed and it's going to be addressed soon and if anybody has a problem with me telling the truth about predators in this industry then they are truly part of the problem and i'll say that out front so that way when certain people who are worried about their work that are tied to this person or whatever it's because they are selfish and they're worried about work you can't treat people like that and when when i'm the boss when i'm ceo when i'm when i can make any tv show and film that i want people are going to be able to come work with me and know that they don't have to worry about bullshit they don't have to worry about opportunities being tied to sexual favors they don't have to worry about being sexually harassed and intimidated and bullied because they didn't acquiesce to the sexual harassment or the attempted sexual assault or any of that they don't be able to show up and work and create amazing and great stuff without that I was, I was on a show, and if I had done what this actress did, just switching lanes, if I had done what she did, I'd never work again and I'd be in jail. Mm -hmm. She used to come up and pat me on the jump, like pat my penis, like, oh, okay, I see that print. And I checked her, I grabbed her hand right away, checked her, like, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, okay, I'll do that shit, I'm going to jail. What are you doing? She did it again. Grab her hand, I'm like, stop, that shit ain't funny. We were preparing for a scene, she walks past, cups my equipment, and it's like, oh, you got some girth. 
Yeah, that's actually giving me the had creeps. One had that been a dude that punched her, punched them in their motherfucking mouth. If I behaved like this woman, this particular actress had done, in that moment, I'd be in jail, I'd be canceled, and I would never fucking work again. You he sh he should have put her on blast. Don't get to walk past somebody and be like, oh, that's nice, and pat him on a fucking private. What I get to call my job is a blessing, and I love it, and I'm grateful to God about it. Nah, it absolutely wasn't Cheryl Pepsi Riley. Please don't do that. That's, that's my heart. I love her to the moment back. She's a consummate professional. It was another, another project. It was a TV and film project. And she felt entitled to do that bullshit. Now, had I said something and she was higher than me on the call sheet, they would it's just not Jay -Z. Out how to die. When have y'all ever seen Jay-Z around Christian Keys? I told you, Miguel. They'd have wrote my character out and killed him off or whatever. And you're like, okay, boom, this is my... This is a series regular. I'm one, two, three on the call sheet. Um, but that's not okay. It's not okay. Y'all wonder why I stay in my fucking dressing room while we on set. Because it's, it's bullshit out there. And it's people that don't appreciate and aren't there to honor the opportunity that we have. They're just doing whatever. Whatever they want to. Whatever they feel entitled to. Imagine a man walking past a woman saying, tapping, saying, I see that print. That print poking through. I'm going to jail that very day. But she can do it and continue. Unless you have money. And if I report her to the female executives that were on that particular show, it's going to get swept under the rug because they'd already told me, you know, just Christian, just, just stand here and be, be pretty. Just stand here and look pretty. Wow. I'm asking about certain things in the scene so I can make it make sense to me. And Not like, just stand just, there just and stand be here. pretty. So, of course, I can't trust. Child, I will put these bitches on uh, blast. Give me a minute. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Cover on it. It's, it's, I pay good money on this. Good money. You learn it down like you can invest in this, that, and the other. So, my manager leaves. He moves into a conference room. And I'm like, okay, it's a conversation. I'm sketchy about this. Didn't realize that the there's a trauma that comes with it because you never know. Like, okay, is this meeting legit? Or is this some bullshit? Is this another one of those meetings where you meet with uh, a black billionaire businessman and while my while my manager was there, everything's everything. I you know, I got my Kinko's presentation with the plastic. A black billionaire businessman. Cover on it. It's, 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 I pay good money on this. Like, good money. Learn it down, like you can invest in this, that, and the other. So my manager leaves, he moves into a conference room. And I'm like, okay, it's a conference room. I'm sketchy about this. Didn't realize that the doors on the side of the conference room right there led into his suite. So about eight or ten. I meant he should have put her on blast when she did it to him instead of not saying anything because they was telling him to just be pretty. Minutes, I'm nervous in my phone. Okay, what the fuck? What is okay? You changing? You gotta use the bathrooms and number two. Cool. He comes back in and silk pajamas, silk robe, right as they're delivering Robert and Smith like, this people. Is woman or a fucking date. The only reason I'm saying it's not Robert Smith in in every instance is because he keeps talking about that distinct voice shit. It could be two different instances, like y'all said, but no, nah, I'm like, wait, oh, uh -uh, this ain't that. This I'm not him, and this ain't that. I'd love for you to invest in my company. He probably should have because he would own a piece of all the Queen's Man, the the books I've already sold, the six or eight books I'm about to release, all of that. He would have had a piece of of all of that monetarily, but he did. He was thinking with his dick and. Yeah, he came back in, grabbed a strawberry, sat down. I was like, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm, you got my presentation, I'm gone. He's like, are you sure? I said, yeah. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. He's like, are you sure? That second, are, are you sure, means if you don't stay and do what I want, you're not going to get what you're hoping for. Now, this particular guy is out here paying tuition for entire classes of HBCUs after this sketchy shit. Want to air him out too? I'm just tired of carrying this bullshit with me. I'm tired. Multiple people. There's there are wolves in the hen house. And so yeah, so we think it's both. We think whoever Robert Smith, it's him, it's TP, because of that distinctive voice shit, and some woman that we don't know about, basically. Uh yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, uh-huh. That's what I'm thinking too. Mr. Smith's voice is unique. Yeah, but who knows his, like nobody knows his voice. Like I don't I don't even know who that is. Like, I have no idea who that is in order to know what his voice sounds like. So, yeah. Yeah, it's disappointing because you're like, you know, okay. Well, I and also the documentary comment. Learn from this person. I want to learn from this person. Or maybe partner with this person over here because he's invested in black companies, not knowing that he's a predator. And this person who's supposed to be your manager is the worst predator of all. Do you hear what he just said? He said, this person over here who was supposed to invest in your business. That's the Smith dude. And then he said, and then this person over here who's supposed to be your mentor. That's.
That's Tyler, from what it sounds like to me. Because y'all can say, oh, you know, Mr. Sway, yeah, no. Nobody knows what Robert Smith sounds like. I can't even think of who what he looks like. I would have to go look him up. We know. We know Tyler Perry's voice. This guy come out at some point. So, um, just, yeah, you carry shit and it gets heavy. I'm gonna call my brother back. Um, I'm so fucking close to tipping the glass over. Like I'm gonna leave it like, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, people did come out and support him. Not everybody has been being an asshole about it. I believe everything he's saying. And I feel like it's a theme. And it's a theme because we just, we live, this is the society we live in where you make sex and you make all of these things taboo. And it's basically a way to push things into the darkness. And when you push it into the darkness, you can do whatever you want to do to people. If we have more of a free flowing consent, educated about sex society, if we weren't so taboo about it, it wouldn't be so easy to push people into darkness. It wouldn't be okay. It wouldn't be so easy to push people into a box where they can be abused. And you can say that they deserve to be abused because they show up a certain way. It's all a trick. It's all a trick to make it okay to abuse people, for predators to protect predators, and to use fame to use money, to use access in order to have power and dominion over other people. See a theme? So, who is CK? Funky Dineva is being one at Bondi Blue. He says CK wanted me. What is this? What are you talking about? Uh, he's worth 9.2 billion though. Who? Who's worth 9.2 billion? Plus, did the world know CK before Tyler? Pe oh, y'all talking about Christian Keys? Okay. Funny is being one, and he said he wanted money. Oh, okay. No, I see what you're saying. Christian Keys. Okay. Um, before Tyler, did the world know Christian Keys before Tyler Perry played? That's why the mentor description makes me think it's Tyler Perry. He's talking about me too. Hey, Talia. Oh, so y'all are saying Funky Dineva was saying that uh, Christian just wants money. Got you. Okay. Um, I don't think that that's what's happening here. But I also feel like if that's the case, so what? If you did it, so what? I, I don't care about people uh, getting money grabs from folks who've abused them. Like, I don't care. If you abuse the person... Your pocket should be ran if they can be. The fuck? That's the least you can do. Uh, that's definitely Robert Smith and Tyler Perry. There's only 700 billionaires in the world. What's the probability that he's talking about anyone else than these two Atlanta billionaires? Also, Tyler and Robert have worked together. Robert has invested in plenty of Tyler Perry productions. Pay me for my pain and distress. Okay, pay me for my pain and suffering. Exactly. Exactly. And pay me for the humiliation of having to swallow what you've done to me and not be able to tell anybody because it'll ruin my career. I wouldn't be surprised was on. Listen, I don't know about any of that. Y'all don't put me in it because I don't know about any of that. My heart rate. It is. It really is. It's sad. And I feel bad for Christian. I feel bad for all the people. But that's literally one of the reasons why I, I, at one point I was grateful that I didn't go into entertainment like I really wanted to um, because I knew what would happen because it was already happening to me in the music industry in New Orleans. It was already happening. Me being propositioned and made to feel like if I was willing to give up my body in some way, then I would be helped. And to me, that tells me that if I don't give up my body, then you won't help me. So, yeah. I became really comfortable with feeling like, let me go into a technical aspect of this. And then YouTube came along and then I could entertain people without having to deal with anybody really up close and personal, which is a fucking blessing because I'm an empath and people's energy makes me nervous. But yeah, y'all. That's all I got. That's all I got for y'all. 
Um, of course, we're going to do um, another, you know, we're going to do more videos this week. I do have a list of things that I want to discuss for a public uh, live that I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I think I'm probably going to do two public lives tomorrow, Married to Medicine and then another Bondi Blue show. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling. But ultimately, I believe everything that Christian is saying. Okay, Neighborhood Talk posted a tweet. Christian Keys liked saying, I don't believe it's Tyler Perry. Okay. Okay. Y'all, if it's not Tyler Perry, thank God it's not Tyler Perry. Because we watch Tyler Perry's content. We watch Sisters. You know what I'm saying? So if if he's saying that it's not Tyler Perry and there's some other distinctive billionaire out there that propositioned him that we, you know, are supposed to know who he is, I can't wait to find out who it is if he ever puts it out there but like i said i mean he said a man so i don't think he's talking about oprah um and when he was talking about a woman he was talking about a tv job so that made me feel like who and that person switched lanes he said that that woman switched lanes so that's made me feel like that it's not the billionaire is not the woman um but mentor person that works on his show yeah I'm guessing it's some billionaire man that we're supposed to know about, but not Tyler Perry, since they said Neighborhood Talk posted a tweet. Christian Keys like saying, I don't believe it's TP. So I guess that means it's not him. I haven't seen that tweet, but I guess that means it's not him. Okay. Uh, well, Queen D, I don't want to, but BB in it, that's her people. I don't want to put Bonnie Blue in it, that's her people. Listen. Wait, hold up. F Michael Gaze, who is nothing nice. Child, listen. I'm cool with everybody that's cool with me. My people. We've only met in person one time, y'all. Chill out. Um, I honestly wouldn't know it would be Tyler Perry by his voice. I would. <laughs> I would. Um, but you know, we don't know y'all. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. I will say Claudia Jordan did say it wasn't who we think it is. Okay. Listen, it does not have to be Tyler Perry, y'all. It doesn't. It's just the way it sounds, especially when we think about the boondocks episode. It's just the way it sounds. He's obviously talking about more than one person. Um, I don't know how many billionaires I'm talking about the documentary. And also people in the comments had to be saying Tyler Perry. Why would he not just say it wasn't Tyler Perry? Why not just say it wasn't Tyler Perry? I'm sure people were in the live saying Tyler Perry. Why wouldn't he just say it wasn't him straight off rip? Especially once he saw all of the people saying it was him. Don't just like no fucking tweet. Come out and say, y'all, if y'all think it's this person, it's not this person. Funky said it is. Who do people think it is? Listen, we don't know what to think at this point. But all I'm going to say is I feel like I'm going to wait. But it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for to me. Okay? No one really knows. No, no one really knows. We're only making conjecture. We're only having a conversation here. But I'm putting shit together. That's all. Uh, Yeah, for Christian Keys to be so closely attached to Tyler Perry and not say it wasn't him in the live. I mean, that's what I'm at with it. If it wasn't him, why not clarify? I know people had to say that they thought it was him while that live was going on. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate you guys. A three hour live. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please don't forget to, you know, like the video and share the content with your people. Let them know that, you know, we have a good time in our members only lives. Okay. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all tomorrow for Married to Medicine and, you know, some other shit. All right. Y'all have a good rest of y'all evening. Go listen to some lo fi or something. Get this shit off your energy. Ugh. Gonna make me a drink. All right, y'all. Bye.